What's going on guys? It's Coach Jacob Hagerman back with the Overcoming Objections training and this one right here is on the phones. If you're an internet store who gets a lot of inbound calls, you're gonna hear this all the time. If you're getting internet leads and you're calling them, you're gonna hear this all the time. So what you need to do is learn this word track and make it so that your customers come to the dealerships, you're setting appointments from maybe a little bit further of the distances. So this is the word track and this is the objection. I don't wanna drive that far. We're over the phone, they're calling in, you're trying to close the appointment. So to set it up, you're gonna be like, hey, what time can you make it down to the dealership? We're down here on XYZ Road at ABC Motors. They're gonna be like, oh, I didn't know you guys were that far. Yeah, I don't wanna drive that far. And here's the word track. Hey, I totally understand. When I hear you say you don't wanna drive that far, what I'm hearing is that your time is extremely valuable. Am I right or right? Look, if your time is valuable, then you need to deal with a professional that respects your time and understands how valuable time works. Look, I sell 90% of my customers, 90% from one to five hours away. You know what that means? That means I have to be extremely good at respecting people's time as well as fast at my job. And we all know this, you can go to your local dealership five minutes away, but we all know that you can't find the perfect vehicle in your own neighborhood. And I guarantee you this, if I had this car cleaned up, gassed up, ready to rock and roll by the time that you got here, it'd be a better car buying experience, a faster car buying experience, and it'd be the vehicle you wanna purchase instead of having to end up spending more time looking for other vehicles. So hey, Mr. Customer, what time can you make it down to the dealership today or tomorrow? What day works best, what time? Set the appointment. But the reason why we wanna use this word track is because you're letting them know that you're very fast at your job, you're professional, but that you do a lot of business of people that are driving in from far. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918. 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254, I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. You want to make sure that they know that you're the professional, that you know what you're doing. You're going to have the car cleaned up, gassed up, ready to rock and roll. It's going to be a super fast and streamlined process when they go to your dealership. So learn this word track. It's a little bit of a longer one. So spend more time memorizing it. Write it out, the whole entire word track, sentence by sentence, and study it one sentence at a time. And here's the deal, when you get on the phones, the phones are the most relentless tool that you'll use at the dealership. If you have a bad phone call, maybe don't overcome on the objection. The deal is, next time you call them back, it might be a dial tone, or they're gonna smoke the books and set a fake appointment. The deal is, we truly wanna make sure that we're lethal with our words on the phones to make sure that we have the highest probability of us getting the appointment, getting the clothes, getting the car deal instead of the competition. On to the next one, guys. This word track and objection is, I need to know what I'm getting for my trade-in before I do anything. Now, you can hear this in two other areas. You can hear it on the phone or you can hear it on the lot. The first way that we're gonna cover it is on the phone. You start talking about them. Next thing you know, you ask for the appointment. They say, hey, before I come in, I need to know what I'm getting for my trade-in. What we're gonna use for this one is called the independent car buyer. We're gonna use a third party to go ahead and continue the deal forward to make them feel like they're gonna get the greatest deal possible, which they are, but ultimately, we want them to stop asking the question because if we give them the information up front, the first thing that's gonna happen is that they're gonna shop the numbers that you gave them with another dealership, which we've all been through. We gave them all the numbers, they said they're gonna come in at six, then you never hear from them again. So what we want to do is we wanna put them inside of the dealership, then give them all the numbers to up our probability of closing that customer on the numbers and spot delivering the vehicle. Here's what the word track is. Hey, I totally understand. Let me ask you a question. Are you familiar with what an independent car buyer is? Great, no? Great, they're professionals that work with dealerships just like ours that often give more money for trade-ins. We actually have one scheduled to be here this afternoon and tomorrow. What time could you make it in so we can get you the absolute most money for your vehicle than ever possible? What time would work best for you? Get them to set to an appointment, they've got an independent car buyer. But now let's say they go round number two, which is where becoming a closer comes into play. They're like, hey, I really need to know what my trade-in's worth before I do anything. 
I'm going to use another third party situation, Miss Johnson. I'm like, hey, listen, totally understand. Hey, I just had a customer, Miss Johnson. She came in last week. She was trading her 2016 Nissan Altima. What we told her is that we can give her $12,000. We gave her a number over the phone. We said $12,000. Well, she came into the dealership because she was happy with that number. Next thing you know, my independent buyer, he strolls into the dealership one late night, looks at the car and says, hey, have we gotten a bid on this one yet? Next thing you know, we say no. So he comes in, grabs the keys, take it for a test drive. He gives her $16,000 for her Nissan Altima. That's $4,000 more than what we were willing to give her. So this is what my independent buyer is capable of doing. We want to make sure that you can get down here as soon as possible when he's scheduled. And I can put you on his schedule to look at your vehicle to make sure that we over deliver on your car. Sound fair? What time can you make it in? That's the way that you can overcome this objection, not just one round, but two rounds. Use a third party scenario and use somebody, instead of saying my manager, my sales manager, whatever it is, we just wanna make sure that they feel confident in our answer. We don't give them any information over the phone so they can shop us at other dealerships, but they have to come see us to get the numbers and they feel like they're gonna get an amazing deal. And then that way you can increase your appointment percentages. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.